morning internet, or afternoon I guess. Um, just working on a small electronics video here again. Um, <clears throat> I've been playing around lately with parallel ports and uh, one of our old roommates actually has a, an old computer kicking around that has has the old parallel port on it. So I, I bought this uh, cable, just a regular old printer cable and tore the end off one side of it, plugged into the breadboard. Um, normally there's eight outputs on the parallel port for data pins. Um, on a typical 25 pin parallel port there's uh, three groups of pins, status pins, data pins, and uh, control pins I do believe. But uh, I've used uh, five of the eight data pins and hooked up some LEDs. I'm missing the resistors of course but the current is pretty low that uh, they don't get damaged. So, um, yeah, basically I just have one ground wire and five um, pins hooked up to the parallel port. And uh, you could you could Google search some of the pin mappings and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you could do a quick Google search and it'll tell you the layout. So I'm just using data pins uh, 7 to 3 here and I'm using one of these ground wires as my as my ground. Um, I wrote a small program in Visual Basic. Uh, this is an older computer so it, it, it's running Windows oh, if I can just get it started here. It's running Windows 98 which is important but uh, so I just wrote a small program that basically counts from 0 to 255 in increments of 8. So right now if it's 0, I don't have any LEDs on. And if I change that to 8, I get one LED on. Likewise, if I change it to six, uh, 16, I get that one on. And then going on uh, in increments of 8, you get all the different LEDs. And then when you get to 255, they're they're all on. And if you notice the pattern there, if you're familiar with binary, it it actually counts up in binary. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So you can only get up to thirty-one using five bits of, uh, of of data. So I thought I'd just demonstrate that. Uh, like I said, the reason why it's important that I was using Windows 90, uh, Windows 98 uh, is because in earlier, or sorry, later versions of, uh, of Windows, you don't have direct access, or the operating system doesn't, or sorry, the, the program that you're using doesn't have direct access to um, hardware. So like the parallel port. Um, in earlier versions of Windows, uh, Windows 95, DOS, and 98, I think, uh, it, that's the only versions of Windows where you could actually access hardware directly. Um, with earlier versions or later versions, I keep those mixed up, of Windows, you'll have to go through a uh, use a driver or a um, I guess some other APIs to access hardware. So that's that's the important point there that I want to make is that I was using Windows 98, and so it's actually really really easy to to do that. Uh, if anybody has any questions, my email address is Michael Judge M I C H A E L J U D G E eight eight at gmail dot com. Right.